This is an array mock test for grade 11 RT and we're going to work on question 4 now. In our previous videos we did 1, 2, 3. Let's go to question 4. Now question 4 we don't have to use the array. We've been working with question 1, 2, 3. We're going to move all the way down to question 4. It says there is a text file called players.txt that contains the names and teams of various players in the soccer league. Complete the code for this button that will load all the values into it from the text file into the array players array. Uh, and then there's this integer that records how many players we've loaded. So that's going to keep track of how many values are actually in the array because we might not fill it. Um, and then both players and player count have been declared for you. That's great. Thank you, Mr. Test. And then once you have completed, that's the key, once you have completed this, then you must display all the values in the array. So not while you're doing the insertion into the array, once it's all completed, then you move to the, let's display it. So this is going to be a, like a separate for loop. Okay, so let's go look at it. So we're going to go to the program. And so here we can see, here is what we're looking at. Those are the two, or, or that's the array that's been declared for us. It can take a thousand strings. But we're going to use our player count to record how many values are actually in this array players because we don't know if we're going to have definitely have a thousand players. And here's the players.txt file. You can see what it looks like. It's the name of the team with the or the name of the player with the team in brackets. So we want to load this into the array. And now when they said how they wanted to, they just did they say anything about just the team name? Um loads all the values from the text file so it doesn't matter so it's going to look something like that so it's, we're not extracting anything it's just simply whatever's in the text file put it into the array okay so let's go so let's go to question four load the players so we know that there's an array player so we're going to start off by we're going to need some sort of um loop or first of all text file handling so we can do text line so if you remember text file handling we can say if file exists why is my spelling so bad file exists if players.txt equals false that means the, it doesn't exist let's close that string if it doesn't exist then we must show a message no file found and then we must exit this procedure so that we don't do any more. That's if it doesn't exist. That's some error checking. If it does exist, then we need to assign files. So whenever you're dealing with text files, we just remember we need a couple of variables here. We first of all, well, first of all, we need um, a text file variable. I'm gonna call it my file. I'll type text file. And we're gonna need an S line string. Okay. So let's just do the text file handling and we'll add the array stuff in between. So let's assign my file to whatever the text file is. So it's players.txt. We can call it just by its name because we know that the file is in the same folder as the project. Then we need to start at the very beginning. We need to move the cursor to the very top. So we're going to reset my file. Let's start at the very beginning. And then we're going to loop through this array. We're going to loop while we are not at the end of my file. Or while we're not at the end, just keep looking, keep looking. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to do a lot of things inside this. We're going to say this is the end of the while. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to say read line from my file into S line. So what that's going to do, it's going to take that first line and put it into S line and then do whatever we want to do with it. Then it's going to move to the next one and do that line into S line. So we're working with S line. It's going to extract each line individually inside this loop. So that's where we work individually with each line here. So yeah, we work individually with each line. If you remember from our text file handling. And then the one step we all forget at the end, remember to close your file. Don't forget to close the file at the end. Okay, so we're going to be working here. What are we doing with S line? S line is going to look like this the very first time. It's going to look like one person's name with their team in brackets. We want to put that into the text file array players. Now, where do we want? Well, array players has a variable called array players count, if I remember. So before we even get into the loop, our players count. We're going to set that to zero. Now I know it was declared globally and global variables are normally automatically set to zero, but let's say we want to load it multiple times or stuff like that. We want to always start at zero. So there are currently no players in the array, players array. So we set it to zero. 
So when we find a line, we find one line. We go, okay, we've got zero at the moment, but we found one. So I'm first, and this is the key, I first increase our player count, our player count. I first increase it. So it's now a one. It was zero, and now it's a one the very first time. Now that it's a one, I have a value, and I want to put that S line into array players. At what position? Well, at that position one, which is our count. So we can say our player count is equal to S line. Take that line and put it into array players at position one. Then it's going to come here. Are we at there? No, we find another line. Now that now, oh, we find another one, what are we going to do? We're going to increase it to two and put that one into position two. And so oh, we find another one. That's position three. Put it into position three. And that's how it works. So you first increase your variable that's keeping track of what element is in the array. How many elements are in the array? Boom. First increases. And then at that position, you put the value that you just extracted. So that should populate the array. And once that's done, only after this, once the loop's done, now we must do a for loop because everything should be there. So now it should be natural for us to go for i equal to 1. How many values are in the array? Well, our player count. Once it's done everything, whatever our player our player count's last value it was, well, that's going to be how many elements are in the array. So I've got our player count, and we're going to put an R in for me. That's great. Thank you. What do we do? We're going to say the rich edit. Do we clear the rich edit? No, we should probably clear this rich edit. Rich edit. Rich output dot. Why is it not letting me clear it? Rich display. That's why. Not rich output display. There we go. Dot clear. And then in it, we're going to display dot lines dot add. We're not displaying Islam, we're displaying whatever's in the array. Our players. Is it players or play players dot r? Ah, right. There we go. That's already a string, so we don't need to convert. So once it's done, we can't do it inside the while loop because it said only once you've populated the array when we display the array, which means it's like almost like a separate thing over here. So we can see that we've pop populated the array, put all the values into the array, and now we go from one to however many elements are in the array, and we take and display whatever's at position one, and then at position two, and then position three. Let's see if that works. Do 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 do. Compiling, compiling. Yay, no errors. Always get nervous in the errors. Let's load the players. And urethra, I mean Rika, there all the players. So there it goes right to the end. So there we go. It loads it. If they wanted just the player names, then we would obviously increase player count. And with S line, we would first extract the player's name and then put that into the array if they wanted something special like that. But in this case, they just wanted it like it is. And there we go. That is question four. For the previous questions in this mock test, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like us on Facebook, like us on Twitter, um, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.